Imagine a dark room filled with shelves of unsolved cases that may not have been looked at in years. Now imagine taking those cases off the shelf and bringing them into the light. The goal of this channel is to shed some new light on those dark cold cases on a state by state basis. Thus, welcome to Dark Cold State. Today's missing person cold cases are from the state of Missouri. Our first missing person cold case is Phoenix Lucille Colden. Phoenix's last contact date was December 18, 2011 and is considered missing from Spanish Lake, Missouri. Phoenix is a black or African American female and at the time of her disappearance she was 23 years old. Her height was 5 feet 5 inches to 5 feet 6 inches and she weighed approximately 123 to 130 pounds. Phoenix has naturally curly dark reddish brown hair and brown eyes. Phoenix has the distinctive physical feature of having her ears pierced and she may also be wearing glasses. Phoenix was last seen wearing a dark black or blue hoodie, gray sweatpants with UMSL or Lindenwood printed vertically down one leg and black tennis shoes. Phoenix was last seen at approximately 3 p.m. sitting in her vehicle in the driveway at her home. It is believed that she left the home to go to a convenience store, but Phoenix never returned. She was driving a black 1998 Chevrolet Blazer with a Missouri license plate. The vehicle was found a few hours later, abandoned in an intersection at 9th and St. Clair in East St. Louis, Illinois. It was towed to an impound lot in Illinois, and her family later found her glasses, purse, and ID inside the vehicle. When Phoenix did not return home, she was reported missing by her family. All activity on her bank accounts, cell phone, and social media accounts stopped on the day of her disappearance. Her family was not notified regarding the abandoned car and did not become aware of its location until approximately two weeks after her disappearance. There have been numerous suspected sightings of Phoenix, but to date none of those sightings have been confirmed. At the time of this video, Phoenix would be 35 years old and her physical appearance may differ due to the time that has passed between her disappearance and today. If you have any information on the disappearance of Phoenix Lucille Colden or any information on her current whereabouts, please contact the St. Louis County Police Department at 314-889-2341 or the Missouri State Highway Patrol Missing Persons Clearinghouse at one 800 877-3452 and reference case number 11-076537 or MP13543. Our next missing person cold case is Christian Miguel Sanchez and his sister Veronica Nicole Sanchez. Christian and Veronica's last contact date was July 8, 2007 and are considered missing from Perryville, Missouri. Christian is a Hispanic or Latino male and at the time of his disappearance was two years old. Christian has brown hair and brown eyes and has the distinctive physical feature of a birthmark across his buttocks. Veronica is a Hispanic or Latino female and at the time of her disappearance was 9 months old. Veronica has brown hair and brown eyes and has the distinctive physical feature of having pierced ears and a birthmark across her buttocks and halfway up her back. 
Christian and Veronica were allegedly abducted by their non-custodial father, Miguel Sanchez. A felony warrant for kidnapping was issued for Miguel Sanchez on July 24, 2007. Miguel has a tattoo of a sun on his upper right arm and he has a scar on his arm under the tattoo. Miguel may have taken Christian and Veronica to Mexico and may use the alias Sanchez Carmona or Carmona Sanchez. Miguel may have been driving a white 2000 Ford Windstar van with Missouri license plate number 320ZTK. At the time of this video, Christian's age would be 18 years old and Veronica's age would be 16 years old and their physical appearance will differ due to the time that has passed between their disappearance and today. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of Christian Miguel Sanchez or Veronica Nicole Sanchez or information related to their disappearance, please contact the Perry County Sheriff's Office at 573-547-4500. And reference case number 107-0705 or NCMEC 107-59. Our last missing person cold case for this week is Branson Kane Perry, whose last contact date is listed as April 11, 2001 and is considered missing from Skidmore, Missouri. Branson is a white or Caucasian male and at the time of his disappearance was 20 years old. Branson has blonde hair and blue eyes and his height was 5 feet 9 inches to 5 feet 10 inches and he weighed approximately 140 to 155 pounds. Branson has the distinctive physical feature of a small faint scar on his upper right cheek and a small scar on his left knee. Branson disappeared under suspicious circumstances. He was last seen walking at his residence in the vicinity of the 300 block of West Oak Street in Skidmore, Missouri. He went outside to place an item in the shed and was expected to return in a few minutes, but he didn't return, and he has not been seen or heard from since. It is believed that Brandon may have been wearing a large or medium-sized t-shirt and shorts with a waist size of 32. It is also possible that he was wearing necklaces and leather trinkets with arrowheads on them. Branson's father was in the hospital, so he had asked a friend to help him clean the house before his father's return. There were two other men also at the home, repairing his father's vehicle at the time of Branson's disappearance. All of Branson's belongings, as well as his vehicle, were still at the home when he disappeared. Foul play is suspected in Branson's case based on the circumstances involved. At the time of this video, Branson's age would be 41 years old, and his physical appearance will likely differ due to the time that has passed between his disappearance and today. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of Branson Kane Perry or information related to his disappearance, please contact the Nodaway County Sheriff's Office at 660-582-7451 and reference case number MP56. Please do not make contact if you see a missing person. The best thing to do is call your local emergency number or, if applicable, one of the numbers in this video. There are also many unidentified remains found in each state. 
If you have not already done so, please consider getting DNA testing completed where the DNA results are shared with law enforcement so that the possibility of identifying any unknown remains is increased. The goal of this channel is to provide attention to these cold cases. If you like the videos on this channel, please click the like button, share the video with others, comment below and subscribe to the channel so that these videos are seen by as many people as possible. Appropriate update videos will be provided if needed. If you have a cold case or a missing person cold case that you would like to see featured on this channel, please suggest in the comments below or email me the information.